So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and even though it's bedtime over here at Indelicate Coaching Headquarters, um, I got hella triggered today. And so what better time than, you know, as I'm having coconut eggnog drinking chocolate and a shit ton of lysine. If you know, you know. Um, what better time to talk about triggers than when I'm coming down off of some? And I say some, not one, some, <laughs> several. Um, I've got a couple. We all have a lot of triggers ranging from, you know, little things to big things. Um, but I've got a couple, my biggest ones, and uh, all of them were poked today. Um, so yeah, first of all, just normalizing that. Um, you'll never stop being triggered. It doesn't matter how much healing you do. It doesn't matter how smart you are or how emotionally intelligent you are or how many cold ice plunges you do um, to regulate your nervous system. You will always be triggered. There will always be things that will remind you of those sticky little wounds that we've all you know, had created in our bodies when we were younger or, you know, at some significant moment in our lives. So that being said, a lot of the times when I see couples get into fights, when I see family members, friends get into fights, is because one person is triggered. And that means something has activated their fight or flight mode um, or some sort of emotional response where they're really activated. They're probably talking faster or defending themselves or shutting down or even crying. Um, they're not acting like their usual selves. They're a little bit more activated um, or flustered or, you know, anything you can really think of. It's, it's different for everyone, but it's just different from their usual cadence, their usual um, demeanor. And it's not that hard to tell once you start noticing and you get to know people, um, you know, what their little quirks are, what their shutdown experience is like, or their activation experience looks like. But if you don't have a ton of practice with noticing people's triggers, first of all, noticing it, and then also being able to not internalize it. So there's nothing you can really do about someone being triggered. The thing that triggered them may not have been you. It could have been a picture in a magazine that they saw. Um, what's important for you is to recognize that this is a moment where you're not talking to the sexy adult version of your lover. Um, you're not talking to your super well-regulated roommate or you know even like your mature mom. You're talking to a toddler. You're talking to someone who's having a flashback to being 14 when they peed their pants. Um, or somebody who's remembering a painful divorce. They are not in their right usual mind. And it might only last for a few seconds. My cat has the zoomies by the way, so I'm sorry, but you just, you're gonna have to endure it with me if you can hear it. Um, the other one is just sitting here like a damn good girl. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Zoomy Town USA. Um, okay, I had to use the mom voice. I had to pause and use the mom voice to make the Zoomies come to an end. And we're all good now. Um, Basically, the point is, when someone is triggered, they're not in a place where they can be logical with you, and they're not in a place where they can necessarily manage what's happening for them. And this doesn't mean that it's up to you to fix it, but it can be really helpful for you to notice it and name it. And even if you don't name it, at the very least, notice it and leave it alone. Um, you know, try to avoid problem solving or and definitely don't get upset with them if you can help it. Um, it's okay if their trigger triggers you and then everybody's triggered and the situation devolves. That's 
pretty normal. Um, it happens all the time. But what I'm hoping people can start to do more of is learn what does a trigger look like for you and can you notice it when it's happening and you know not necessarily make it go away but say oh i'm triggered right now um and usually what needs to happen is you need to complete the emotional response to actually get the trigger to come up and out of your body rather than just getting packed down and stored um, the way that a lot of our emotions do. So I want you to start with yourself. Notice it in yourself. Um, see if you can just say, I'm triggered. And, you know, you might get better over time asking for what you need in that moment, but just start there. Start with, I'm triggered. Um, and then allow the emotion to happen. And I think you'll be surprised to see that, um, you're not necessarily going to experience a catastrophic emotional event by allowing the emotion to happen. It might only last for 20 seconds, but the difference is, you know, that scary thing about letting the emotion happen, the worry, the stress, the shoving it down creates so much more tension and drama uh, than just letting that like 20 seconds of emotional experience run its course. Um, Okay, so the main thing is that I want you to be able to notice your own triggers because then you become the partner of your dreams um, and you teach other people around you to do the same thing. But then I also am hoping that people can start to notice the triggers of their partners, their loved ones, their friends, um, their customers. This is, it's important for anybody talking to other people, interacting with other people, um, the rude people, on the train around you you know they might be in their trigger and instead of internalizing it and then getting into it with them you can just say this person's having a moment i'm gonna let it go um and it happens to all of us so it's you know it's really generous and really compassionate act to see that someone might be in their in their trigger in their stress and their activation in their free state and just let it be um and then the real trick is, you know, in intimate connections, starting to learn about your partners and notice about your partners, where these triggers might come from, seeing the sweet, younger, you know, maybe helpless part of them, and just loving the shit out of them in that moment, and just, you know, being like, oh, babe. <laughs> This is so hard. I can see that you're triggered. Um, what that does to a person's nervous system is so magical.